It's also Friday night. What are you planning on doing? What are you planning on doing? What are you planning on doing? You are now listening to Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. Let's get into it. Episode 48, Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. In the basement, still, just kind of basementing. Um, fucking sick, as you can tell. Sick as fuck. Well, I'm not sick as fuck. I was sick as fuck the other day. I'm feeling pretty good today, but I'm still congested, so, you know, I sound like I'm fucking, I'm in a headlock. But anyway, I totally fucked up there is this pink fucking pigment all over the basement and it's just footprints all around everywhere and erica is fucking mad uh i don't know how to get the fuck rid of it (laughs) Uh, well i guess you know that's part of it it's part of it you know shit happens i guess you could say hold on let me just adjust this filter here I'm going to draw back a little bit. So, that being said, um, what, what's been new since last week? It's been a couple of things. Oh, the uh, the black bleed, bleed black. Well, that's not going to be what it's called, but um, I'm thinking I'm done with that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm fucking with it too much, and eventually, eventually, every time I fuck with something too much, it just, it turns bad. And uh, I don't want to ruin it because the fucking base is fucking super expensive. So uh, it's it's not it's definitely not as strong as the violet. So see, we run into another one of these things. The standard fluid, right? Paints over immediately. Just one coat, boom, it's over. You will be able to see an outline of like the difference because it's actually like thick. You know, it's not uh it's not how do I say it? it's raised if you put that shit on something it's gonna harden as a raised surface so you might be able to see the outline of the tag still but not because it's bleeding through by any means just because that it's fucking it's raised up off of the surface um so standard fluid will do that but a chemical it it will beat a, a lot a good amount almost all chemical fucking buffs um but and then it doesn't last in a mop, right? So then, so then we go to the alcohol shit. Now we got the alcohol stains, the purple, or the violet and the pink, and those you can try to paint over it. It's gonna take a while. It's, you're gonna most likely give up and try some other shit before you before you do that. And, and what I've learned, and just with the buff board. And I don't even know if I should say this because you never know the buff man might be listening. But um, if you chemical wipe the um, the violet or the our alcohol based stain inks, uh, if you chemical wipe them first and then roll them, you have a much easier time covering it. Um, and that also depends on how good you chemical wipe it. So. If you do a shitty rub, you're just going to push the pigment around and it's just still going to be pushing through. So you got to really thin the fucking pigment out. So you're going to want to push it to a big, massive blob of fucking purple or whatever, red, whatever it ends up being. And then you're going to want to roll it several times because the blob is still going to come through a couple times too. But definitely not as much as not as much as if you just started rolling tags. All right, so that's just that's that's something I've learned um, in trying to uh, figure out the best way to roll the board after after you know. Anyway, so we got those two right, and then 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 I started fucking with the black. Now the black. It, it will last in the sun. It lasts in the sun. It fucking... It, it, it does the same kind of wipe, 
it, it, you know, chemical, it's alcohol based. Chemical is going to fuck it up a little bit. It's going to be, you're going to push it into a blob, but you're also going to be able to roll it and it's going to bleed. It's not going to bleed as intense as the other ones, but also it's going to, uh, it's, it's thicker, it's more opaque and, uh, it's going to last out on a box or something like that. So it's like, it's like all these fucking things. I just can't get them, one of them to do everything. And again, like I said, I think that's just the way it is. I think, I think it's just the fucking way it is. <laughs> you know, some things are fucking different because they're different. The fucking armed services have different branches because they're different. But it's all the armed services. A- anyway, so so I got the black done. Um, the red is bumping. That's a tough one, man. I really like the fucking 237. That shit is fucking... And, and with the stain enhancement, though, at the same price as it was? Boro. <laughs> you feel me? Um, I wish I could say that when the black comes out, it's going to be like that. But it's probably not. And still, the standard black alcohol it's it's a little bit better it's a it's a little more fluid um i got the the i got the bleed shit the stain shit black um i got it pretty fluid as well but it's 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 a little bit more textured of an ink so if you're going just for looks the black standard or not black standard the um the black alcohol ink is going to be the one you want and then uh we'll have a different black for the uh the more bleed fucking you know it's because it's it's a fucking specialty that shit costs a lot of money to fucking make it the way it was and i fucking ruined a bunch too i fucking ruined it i kept fucking with it so so i got that almost wrapped up i just uh fucking i don't know i gotta i gotta fucking pour it up and i actually had to stop the stir for this because it was gonna be in the fucking background so i got we got the we got that coming the the new black hopefully is going to be be out in a day or two or something like that whenever i get around to <sighs> making a fucking graphic for it i fucking got this pink stain all over the goddamn i'm gonna have to bring a scrubber down here a fucking rotary scrubber and fucking scrub it and fucking vac it and then figure out how not to fucking have that happen again i don't know what the fuck i did i must have the pigment is so fucking nasty, man. So then that brings me to a couple other things. Uh, I um, Inevitable Rebels just dropped uh, uh, the review video. And I think the review video was great. The actual review itself was all positive And uh, everything performed just as I knew it would. Kind of like with uh, Rusty's video. You know, it wasn't... It wasn't anything that I didn't know it was or was not going to do. And um, and uh, so um, I was glad everything performed as it should. And uh, even, even a scribe video too. So that was cool too. Um, but the title ended up fucking killing me, man. I can't even remember what it was verbatim. But it killed me. Oh, it made my fucking inbox blow up with everybody's fucking sponsor me shit and that's not what it was that's not what it was <laughs> you know what i mean like i pushed it a lot that I, I don't do the sponsor thing i just i don't do it but there's a difference between sponsor me and me running a fucking promotional campaign you know like th- there's a big difference between the two and 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 I, I, it's like giving the fucking wrong idea to a lot of people that, oh, oh, he sent, he sent, you know, these guys who are doing reviews and shit, you know, he sent them free stuff. So I got a fucking YouTube channel. That means I get free stuff. That does, it's not what that means. It's any, it's fucking definitely not what that means. Like, and I feel bad a little bit, but I only feel so bad because again, I look at the order sheet and there's an order from Pep and there's an order from Gasp and there's an order from fucking from everybody from fucking from the doctor fucking in New York City, <laughs> you know, you know, there and, and all these people are actively fucking supporting and and fucking and, and some fucking rando tando because he's seen a video where the guy says that he got the shit for nothing thinks that that means that that's what i'm doing 
I'm fucking not, man. There's a lot of people who fucking work hard to buy this shit. And, uh, and, if, and if I'm running a fucking, uh, I'm trying to run a fucking promotional campaign here to fucking, to get us up, to get us to the next level so I can get another fucking t-shirt out or something because, you know, I gotta, I gotta do something. So I'm, I'm trying all the avenues, you know, I'm, I sent out fucking, I sent out some shit to some people and just like, you know, promotional packs to try and fucking, to try and get this where it needs to be. But that definitely wasn't a fucking dinner bell for every fucking bloodsucker to pop up and fucking start taking a piece of this shit. It's not what it is, you know? I So, so I guess, I mean, I really got to stick with the criteria thing on that one. And, and you know what? And, 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 and fucking in the bottom line, I guess, with the criteria is meeting the criteria beyond followers and reach and subs and blah, blah, blah. I got to kind of know who you are. I got to know you. I got to know you a little bit. We got to know each other. You got to know what I'm fucking doing here. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't just some random fucking relationship, you know. I'd I'd rather I'd rather keep the shit. I'd rather I'd rather throw it in someone else's pack for nothing, you know what I mean? Which I've been known to do fucking a lot. I've kind of had to slow down because I was giving away the fucking farm. I had to had to kind of slow down. And plus, <laughs> plus I know I fucking know that people were. He's like, yo, chill, dog. How, how many fucking keychains can I have? You know what I mean? I got four fucking blacktop scribes, you know, because you keep throwing them in. Except for Silo. S- si- Silo has zero scribes because he doesn't like the sound. And I learned that fucking, oops. He, he Actually, you know what? He might have one. I bet you he, I bet you he's got one. He might have one before I found out that he can't stand the sound so that so that he so he can get him anymore. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that was uh, a good video, good review, you know, fucking shout out for the video, Inevitable Rebels, that fucking, that's real hard to say to Inevitable Rebels, uh, shout out, but the title killed me, I gotta, I gotta keep it, keep it a thousand fifty percent, the title killed me in the fucking inbox, that shit was like, that shit got it bumping immediately, I was like, oh no. Some people, I didn't even fucking open this shit, man. I'm just like, I, I can't fucking do this right now. And and I and I can. I just I just don't have the fucking energy for it <laughs> sometimes, you know. And uh, and then, so then, well, beyond all that, I get a fucking message that says, yo, what's the deal with this or whatever? And it's these scribes, right? And it's a... Uh, Looked like a compact black top. It looked like a silver top. And I can't even remember. Maybe two silver tops and a compact black top. With the fucking, with those wonky fucking keychain, key ring things. That the other fucking guy stole and used instead of the ones I use. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh. I'm like, what the fuck, right? So then I look and see who, where this shop got these. And they're from this fucking dude, right? So this dude messaged me like, I don't know, a couple months ago, a month or two. Damn, it is mess. Mess, you hear all that stomping? Who the fuck stomping like that? <laughs> um, so the guy messaged me like fucking... <laughs> <laughs> if I had a, I wish I had a thing I could bang on the fucking ceiling. <laughs> um. Anyway, so the fucking guy messaged me fucking couple months ago, and he's like, "Oh, I never got my order." I'm like, "Oh shit!" I take that seriously. You say you didn't get your order? I'm fucking on it, dog. All right, what's the order number? Sends me order number. Order number checks out. I mean, it doesn't. The order number doesn't check out. Like, but it's that's the order number format for my uh, what do you call it? My platform or whatever the fuck. You know, it's B X C dash X Y X fucking. So I look at it. I'm like, all right, that's the format. So I search the order number. Can't find it. 
search the name, can't find it, search the address, can't find it, shipped, unshipped. I'm like, where the fuck is it? So after doing that, I emailed um, I, I emailed my host. And I'm like, the guy says his order number is this. I can't fucking find this order. You know, can it, it, let me know if there's anything on your end. They messaged me back. Nope, nothing on our end, uh, on your platform. We don't see that shit. And I'm like, fuck. All right, man. I'm like, well, what is it? And he's like, explains it. And he sends me a picture of it. And I'm like, and I'm looking at it. And I go, who the fuck? I don't call it. That's not my, that's not my product title. I'm like, that's just not that. So then I'm like, oh, this is the other, you, you tried to buy it from the biter, from the other guy in California, the biter. The biter who ain't a G forever, you know what I mean? He's a biter. I'm not going to say his name, but he definitely ain't gangster forever. He's a biter. He's a bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I should just let that go. But he was the first one to be a fucking straight biting ass bitch. But um, whatever. They're going to do that. I mean, I guess it's because it looks good. It's nice. It works. So... So I'm like, oh, nah, man, you must have bought that from him, dog. And he wanted, like, a replacement, I think. I had to look back. And I'm like, nah, you know, I can't even do it. And he's like, oh, shit. I said, yeah, this guy bit off my shit. And he's like, damn, that's fucked up. No one's got originality no more, right? And I was like, yeah. So then, then that was it. So then I look and I see this is that. Oh, and that, but that wasn't it. That was it for that part. Then he messaged me, yo, what's the difference between uh, XL and this? All these scribe questions. What's the difference between this and this? What's the difference between this and this? So I answered. Thought he was fucking interested. Thought he was going to get something. Trying to, trying to tailor the experience. So then I see the fucking... That he's the dude who serve the scribes to this other shop and i'm like you fucking cocksucker i'm like it's not the first time it's not the second time the fucking fucking bitch ass motherfucker in canada fucking did the same shit he's a uh, he's a bitch too he's a bitch don't go upstairs and buy none of his shit because he's a bitch he went and fucking did the same ass bitch ass shit anyway so so this other so so now this is like the third third person on this bitch ass shit. And this one, the other guy bought for me, talked to me a little bit. But this dude, man, first he tries to finesse me for some shit and get me to send him some shit, right? I think. I can't prove that part. But then he pokes around until he gets my specs and fucking because he can't obviously look at the site and fucking figure out what the difference is between the two. I mean with photos and fucking descriptions or between whatever asking me all these fucking questions but then he fucking duplicates the product which i can tell it's it's the raw material duplication it's not modified i modify all this shit and i've learned you know when the fucking things are falling out and da, 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 you gotta put the o-ring on but the o-ring doesn't just go on it's got to be modified the whole part has to be modified to accept the O-ring so the shit doesn't fall off. The cap's got to be modified. The fucking, I got to re-thread this shit. I got to tap them all. It's, it. I know everyone just thinks, oh, he just does this or that. Nah, I don't. I don't. Try that shit. You, you won't. It'll just squish the O-ring and fucking bust it out the sides. Anyway, took me a long time to figure all this fucking shit out and make it so it's, so I custom tailored these fucking pieces to be for optimal performance you know what i mean like like i it's not the same but you know it's like when fucking uh when hennessy takes a fucking takes a a viper off the line i mean it's already a viper it already does its thing but then they fucking do their thing to it and it's better or they take or you know roush takes a mustang off the line or what you know whatever hearst whoever that's basically what I'm fucking, I'm, I'm making these better. I'm making them perform optimally. They've all been Q, QC checked. Every single fucking piece. Have you ever seen me post the pictures where my fucking fingers are black? That's from hand checking materials when they come in. 
and it's like fucking black shit from the fucking metal foundry, wherever the fuck it is. Just like from handling them and pulling and fucking twisting and fucking making sure everything doesn't is everything is the way it's supposed to be. Checking all the fucking threads and shit on the one part because the other side's got to be retapped and fucking checking everything. So all these things get fucking QA checked or QC, whatever you call it, depending on where what factory you worked at, dog. You know what I'm talking about. I know motherfucking Pep understands the QA or the QC. He knows what it is. Yo, shout out to the fucking auto workers. Where does Bond? Um, so, so, so anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm fucking doing all this shit to these parts. And then, so this dude, it like super fucking bothered me that he engaged me and, and, and I answered all these fucking questions. And then he hands out this fucking subpar product to somebody and the people are fucking happy. They're like, Oh, we're so excited to have these. Get the fuck out of here. You know, like, c- come on, man. I don't know. And and I got to stop being a fucking sissy because, again, if we want to talk about cars and shit like that, you know, I'm sure Ford ain't mad when Dodge comes out with a car. You know, they just come out with a better car or Dodge comes out with a better car or fucking Toyota comes out with a better car. Or they all got cars. Everyone's got cars. There's enough motherfucking people. There's enough asses to put fucking in seats. You feel me? But. But dude, this fucking, I care a lot about this shit. You know what I mean? I fucking really do. And and there are enough raw materials out there for you to come up with something different. You can come up with something different. Fuck, how many would I got? 12 fucking models or something of different scribes or some crazy shit? That's because I just sat and looked at the raw materials and said, what the fuck can I do with these? What more can I do with these? I put one in a fucking Uprock cap adapter. You know, I mean, it's out there. You just got to figure it out to take fucking 20 minutes and look at the parts, look at the pieces and say, what, what, how would I use this? How, what, 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 that's what I do. I say, what would make this more ideal for me? And then I make it and then I carry it for a little while and say, all right, this is cool. This is good enough to offer to the family. And then I fucking put it up. This dude just fucking lets me do all the fucking work. He 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 fucking get, hands out some subpar untested shit, fucking with without the fucking features to keep it from falling off or to keep it from doing this other shit. And and I, I it just it, you know now I know how them people at the fucking U.S. Postal Service felt when I talked to them and finesse all them fucking labels. You you feel fucked up when someone sits and talks to you right to your face. You know what I mean? So, what the fuck ever. (laughs) So, so that's what I've been fucking, you know, that shit. And that really bothered me. I don't know why I shouldn't have. I, I'm, I'm, this happens more. It doesn't happen a lot because people know. And, and shout out discount beepers, man. I, I said, I made that post about it and and probably a lot more people saw that post that are going to hear that are, then are, that are going to hear this, um, audio, but fucking dude discount beepers made the dice scribe he made one it's it's a little bit different it's a, it's a straight tip into the fucking into the dice he makes he uses rounded corner dice and 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 they're not the same it's not the same but he fucking hit me up and i can't remember exactly word for word or whatever he said but he it was basically like yo i, I know you make something similar to this i don't know how he knew he seen it he didn't see it someone told him whatever he said, I'm making this, and and he wanted to, like, let me know, like, I'm about to do this and shit, and I was like, yeah, hell yeah, that shit's ill, here, let me post that up, let me fucking, let me show the people, you know what I mean, like, fucking, dude, that meant a lot to me, that it's not even the same fucking thing, he created his own thing, same, same vein, but different product. It was, it's different. I know it. I look at it. I, I see his materials. He sees my materials, I'm sure. We can see these materials, and all other people in this space know where these materials get sourced from. I see his shit. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's that. Oh, that's a good idea. That's that's like removing a step from my dice scribe. Make it, it would be like a little bit easier, you know, if I did that. But then it's got, you know, they got both got their drawbacks and their pluses and shit. His, his plus is the price. Drawback is doesn't have a cap, so it's got the it's got the red cap, the red rubber cap. 
and and sometimes that's a job but but it's it's good it's a good product it's nice it's fucking it's original and because i know i wasn't the first one with the dice scribe either someone told me about that shit i reached out to the guy multiple times and never he never got back to me so i was like whatever we're gonna run it and we're gonna do it better because i'm sure it's not the same you know what i mean and and i never heard nothing else about it i heard one person say yo someone else tried that before and then that was it you know what i mean so i don't know i I gotta just give it up because someone said a long time ago too that there's nothing new under the sun i probably said that before here and there's not there's nothing new someone's already done it you know i'm i'm fucking i'm looking at those inks by uh strong etch i think they're called and them shits look brutal and i'm like damn if those get here i'm fucked and i'm like nah i'm not i'm not fucked because because i got you guys and you guys roll hard as a motherfucker for me and for us as a whole and so i don't know i got i got i got to start fucking appreciating my myself a little bit more and and understanding that you know sometimes making a product worth stealing means means your idea is a good idea it's just hard it's hard for me to fucking because I do care so much about this shit. You know, I, I fucking think I care too much. I think some of these guys, it's like a part-time thing. You know, I'm at work cleaning carpet or stripping floors. And I'm thinking, all right, uh, I got to I gotta get this post up. Oh, man, I can't wait to tell. Oh, look at this. This dude just sent me this picture. I got to get that up. You know, that's when you might see me on the threads shit talking about fucking stay in school because I'm working. But while I'm sitting there, I'm thinking about like, what am I going to do next? What are we doing? Devastator is a full-time job in my mind. So I think about it a lot when I'm doing other shit. And I'm at places, and I'm places with my family, and I'm like, oh, shit, I wish I had this joint because they look at that. It's a perfect surface I could have tested it on, and I know we'll be back here again next week. And fucking I could look and see how it did or how it buffed or how it did this or that, da, 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 da. It's rough, man. It's a rough motherfucking world out there in them streets, boy. <laughs> it's not really that rough. And I'm still trying to work the yo Mike do. What's the deal with this whoop, son? You finna fucking come do this show? You should have been here right now doing this. <laughs> you should have been here. Oh, I got to holler at that guy I'm doing that project with. Kind of just kind of forgot about it a little bit and then i'm sure he kind of forgot about it so we gotta holler and get that project done so i can get that other new black project out to you too because it's gonna be black too we got black ink fucking crazy in here (sighs) man oh man is it always something or what trying to think of what else is fucking going on oh yo shout out fucking mike valenti Shout out my cousin Mikey Valeni for getting married. Him and Erica got married. That was a good ass fucking time. I had a good time there, man. They knew how to really throw a party. It was a good fucking wedding. Got to see a lot of people and shit. It was uh it was nice. I had a good time there. Shout out to them, man, for real. Like fucking it really felt like it. and and shit. The table that they put me at, they ain't put that they put me at. But the table that I got assigned at it was a it was, shit was bumping. <laughs> we were fucking having a good time there. Shout out to Punch Marker too because he provided the fucking carry because my fucking regular my regular knife that I carried is some bullshit pocket knife. It just doesn't work with the fucking with the dress clothing. You know what I mean? And uh and I've been busting out the dress clothing a little bit. And uh, this time I was like, dude, I got to stop putting this stupid fucking knife in there. It's going to bust out these fucking pants or, you know, it's some carrying this stupid in my fucking shirt. So I, I went with the Crayola fucking titanium core. And uh, man, that was like perfect to carry in fucking slacks or whatever they're called, dress pants. So shout out to Punch Marker for making a fucking great ass product. I fuck with him. I, I, you know, f- fucking Punch Marker, I, I just was seeing his shit. Like, just coming across it in EDC shit. And I jumped on board fucking early and, and was, it was keeping an eye on it. And, man, he makes some fucking cool shit, man. You know, I know the big focus in the EDC world is fucking beating metal detectors and shit like that. And, and, and that's cool for what it is, for beating metal detectors and shit. But when you take that part out of the equation and 
you f- just fucking have a badass piece on you when when metal detectors don't matter son when you got a fucking that titanium cord fucking spike in your pocket dude forget the fuck out of here that shit is tits i fucking love it he gave me a few too we fucking we did a nice trade and fucking and, and worked it out and uh oh i shouldn't say that <laughs> we we did a trade we did a trade <laughs> he didn't give me none <laughs> we traded just to make it clear it was a, it was a trade it was it was goods for goods it was a barter <laughs> i don't want it to sound like he just he just is like here you go pal because you're such a nice guy because i was just complaining about that <laughs> But it was a trade though But you know I, I gotta say What he got out of it Probably was like of no use He's probably like damn I got fucked <laughs> He said But you know anyway The pieces are fucking fire You gotta go get yourself one It's fucking super reasonably priced Fucking like real shit It was uh It was Yeah yeah I fuck with it I fuck with it. I lost my train of thought. I was looking at the buff board. And then I like totally fucking zoned out. What was I fucking saying? Or wait. I, I don't fucking remember. Now I'm trying to think. I don't fucking know. Anyway. I can't remember man. I try to keep track of so much shit. I don't even, I don't even know what fucking time it is right now. My clock down here stopped working. Now it's back on fucking 24-hour time. I don't know how to fucking change it back. There's pink fucking pigment all over the whole basement with croc fucking prints everywhere. It's been a it's been a rough couple of days. Mike, do where you at? Get the whoop going. Borrow the Tesla. Take the Hummer. <laughs> Come on, son. What are you doing? Take the Tesla, come through. You wouldn't be the first Tesla bending the driveway. Billy, where you at? We gotta do your episode, though. <sighs> Yo, know, if anyone knows what the fuck those uh, strong, strong etch guys are fucking doing with that blue ink or the ghost etch or ghost, strong ghost or whatever. Yo, let me know. Let me know what you think they're doing. Because that shit looks fucking tough. And I want to get a little piece of that shit. I want to put my own spin on it. Let me know. Let me know what those guys are doing. (laughs) I hate when people bite my shit. (laughs) Nah, but for real though. I'm I'm genuinely curious. I want to know how the fuck they make it do that, man. That's fucking crazy. But then again, you know what? I'm... When I'm doing my shit, I've seen some opportunities where I could totally bullshit and be like, oh, yeah, look at this. I make you could make this look like anything. So I can't really be 100 percent. I don't believe shit. I was just talking with Brian earlier about I can't fucking believe anything that I see anymore because of like corridor crew, those guys and just the just the level of fuckery and fakery and bullshit that's on the Internet in general that like like dude i bullshitted that whole fucking that whole refrigerator thing with with ai backgrounds and shit made it look like this shit's on a street corner look in the background the cars are all bugged out they ain't no fucking cars <laughs> they look like cars it's what a car is supposed to look like when you're not paying attention to it but it ain't real you know what i mean i they got the one with the black background and shit that's not fucking real that was in my fucking, in my front room in the house. And then that fucking AI did the rest of it. Like fucking did the background. So I don't believe shit. I don't believe fucking shit anymore. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I got all this money in these light boxes taking pictures and shit. When I could just take a fucking picture and hit the fucking, the photo app button or whatever the fuck it's called. And fucking boom, boom, boom. It does the same fucking thing. And I spent all this money, spent all this time figuring out how to do these pictures with the white backgrounds and all this shit. So I don't believe shit anymore that I see. We need to have a conspiracy episode. True. I don't know if you listen to this shit, but if you do, come on, son. What the fuck we doing? Come on out. Come through. Kanto, come sit down with me, true chains. 
Come sit down with me. Let's talk about it. All right, man. <sighs> Shout out to all the folks. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everyone. Shout out. Yo, when you see somebody selling some shit, ask them motherfuckers, did that come from Devastator? If you seen some shit that it looks like I made and you see it and it looks fucked up, say, did that shit come from Devastator, bitch? And if it didn't, tell them to go suck a dick. Well, you don't have to do that. I don't want you getting a strike. If you don't care about your account and you don't care about a strike, tell them to suck a dick. Get on your burner account and then tell them to suck a dick after they block you again. Call out the bullshit if you see it, man. You know what I mean? I don't know, though. Shout out fucking Machine Studio. Shout out Bus at Machine. Shout out Machine as a whole, as I like to say. Shout out Flat Black. Shout out Overspray. Shout out Uprock. Shout out Empire Art Supply. Who the fuck else we got? Who else we rocking with? I'm trying to think. Was it Legendaries? No, it wasn't Legendary. Was it Legendaries? Riding Dirty. Shout out Riding Dirty. Shout out all the shops that fuck with us, man. I fuck with you guys, man. Shout out fucking... Shout out everybody. And if you haven't fucked with us in the minute, get, get your order in. Let's get you some scribes, man. Get you selling some fucking shit. Get some of this violet, boy. This shit's crazy. I love the violet. I do really like the violet a lot. The red is good, though, but I, I we're, that's about to be gone. The red is almost gone. It's going to be gone again for a while because that's a motherfucking expensive nut to cut. You feel me, though? All right, man. I'm fucking out of here. Ziz McEnroe signing out. Yo, shout out Mike 4 5th. Shout out Pep Grundy. Bung, 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 bung. Why, Gary? Why, Pop?